Hey guys. <clears throat> Time to do a coffee time with Cobra. Mm. And today's coffee time is going to be a Q&A coffee time. And of course, here's Pugsley. Hello, Pugsley. <laughs> you too, Pugsley. You too, Pugsley. Love you, Pugsley. Yes, Pugsley. And so, I asked you guys this morning on Twitter and Facebook and a few other places, um, if you have any questions to ask me, to ask me for Coffee Time with Cobra. And um, I had a few, and so I'm going to get right into it. And apparently my pug wants my attention. What? 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 I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. Anyway, uh, question one was from Effin Bam, which was favorite food and drink. Um, favorite hot drink is either tea, uh, orange payo with a little bit of sugar, milk, typical British tea, PG tips, tet, these kind of thing, um, or a nice hot orange. Um, basically, you take a um, you know, like the powdered orange drink you can get like Gatorade stuff like that and you heat it up um, stop it sorry about that Pugsy's going nuts um, what else favorite food um, Manzi's pie and mash uh, either Tower Bridge or Peckham um, I used to work there um, really good food no it's made stop it she's being an attention whore or my nan's home cooking, um, nice Sunday roast spuds, you know, the works. Um, I do miss that, my nan's cooking. Um, World of Tanks or War Thunder? Um, initially, I used to have fun playing World of Tanks because, you know, everyone has the goal of getting the, the Tiger or the, uh, you know, getting their iconic tanks. My goal wasn't even to get the Tiger, it still isn't. Um, my goal in World of Tanks was to get the Sherman. And I have it, with the exception of the Sherman Mark III and the Firefly, and the British tech tree. Um, I have every other ver ver variant of the Sherman, um, except for the Thunderbolt as well. So I don't own the Thunderbolt, and I don't own the Sherman Mark III, or the Sherman III, or the Firefly. Um, so I'm going to work on unlocking those three, and then I'm done with all the tanks. I've actually got the tanks I actually wanted to have and have, have in play. Um, Everyone's like, well, why not the Tiger? Because um, I have the Tiger. I have the Tiger in War Thunder, and it's just, yeah, it's pants. It turns like it's always constantly in mud, um, in both arcade and realistic. Um, don't even get me started on the Panthers' turret rotation. I'm actually going in on a bit of a uh, rant about that during my last live stream. Um, and then the next one was favorite strategy game. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, favorite War Thunder or Water Tanks. Um, graphically, it used to be War Thunder, but since uh, Water Tanks 1.0 came back out, um, can't come, has come out, I said they're a toss up. If you want more realistic tank play, um, War Thunder. Um, but War Thunder's got its bias bugs, so does, so does Water Tanks. They both have their bias bugs. But for now, I'm actually having fun playing Water Tanks again. Um, again, like I said, I've got a goal. Um, my goal is to unlock all the Shermans and have them, use them, abuse them, and have fun with them. Um, favorite strategy game? I'm old school, so it'd be a toss up between Command and Conquer, Dune. Um, hell, Lemmings technically is a strategy game. Uh, Worms is technically a strategy game. Um, Solitaire, Chess is technically a strategy game. Um, so I would have to say PC strategy game. See, strategy games evolve. They they, they all evolve, but they they've all got their roots in one strategy game. And of course, there's, there's Populous, um, that's a strategy game. Um, Heroes of Might and Magic, technically, that's an RPG strategy game. Um, I'd have to say it's Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer Red Alert, the first one. One with the Mammoth Tanks, when the Mammoth Tanks first appeared. Um, 
I'd like to see a, a mod similar to that for Company of Heroes. Um, I really would. That'd be an interesting uh, mod to see. Um, and then I was asked, you know, um, favorite real, real world tank, uh, modern real world tank. Um, Challenger one, Challenger one, Challenger the Challenger platform. Um, not not the World War Two Challenger platform, which was a tank destroyer. Um, I'm talking the modern day Challenger. Um, with the sear, sear ceramic composite armor um, and various other things like that. I like that challenge. I drove one, I should know. <laughs> they were fun. Uh, other than that, um, modern tank from a, 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 another fa another country. Um, Israel's doing some good stuff, um, tanks wise. Um, Retrofitting class, more like older tanks, like the the Chieftain Mark V, um, the Sitamar, basically that's what it is. Um, Super Sherman, which is a, a Israeli S51 uh, Super Sherman. Um, that's a good tank. Hmm. Coffee's almost done, guys. Um, got time for one more question. Am I left or right-handed? I am left-handed. I have been left-handed my entire life. I went to school in England, um, and they automatically assume everyone is right-handed, so they forced me to write right-handed. And my gram and my, my my handwriting was atrocious um, until I put a pen in my left hand, and then all of a sudden I'm writing like I'm freaking Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, so there you go. That's how I found out I was left-handed. Uh, left-handed, right-eye dominant. If anyone wants to know, um, so it makes it really interesting for for target shooting. Um, let me just put it to you like that. Um, favorite favorite rifle um, toss up between the SA58 and the M4 um, I like the M4 for its ease of use its modular design um, and most importantly its compactness you can just stop you know all of a sudden now you've got basically a really 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 short barrel uh, squad weapon slap a C mag in that thing Pull it on, pull it onto a full square, and you've basically got a uh, pseudo makeshift saw squad automatic weapon. Um, so there's that. Um, plus, they can be carried by medics. So yay! So that crappy PDW stuff. Um, favorite PDW? Um, no contest. Um, it's either the P90. Or the Daniels Defense D44. Um, the D44 is basically a civilian variant of the. Um, mm. Coffee's done, so this, after this question, that's it. The Daniels Defense is a, a clone of. Sorry about this. Come on in, Pugsley. It is a Daniels Defense clone of. Uh, crap. It's in Black Ops 2, um, top loader, very similar to the P90, I can't remember it offhand, but it's a civilian version of that, um, and it fires the SIG round, the same as the P90. It fires an intermediate cartridge, uh, a SIG round. So there's that. Um, all right, one more question real quick. Uh, what is my games that I play while I'm not live streaming? Um, they're mostly Android games. Um, as you can see here is Star Wars. Um, it, this is Star Wars Galaxies of Heroes, and I'm just getting my dailies done. So I'm almost done. I've got one more arena fight to do, and then my dailies are done. Um, so there's that. And I play um, some Facebook games, um, mostly strategy games, not like Farmville or any of that crap. Um, I play one called. Uh, let me go to my. Facebook game room app thingy on my computer. Uh, I don't play them on my phone because my, my phone is shit. I've got to get a new phone. Um, any time now, Facebook. It is called Liberators. That's the one. It's basically a World War II wannabe um, game where you can have like Rommel and Churchill in the same unit, in the same army. Um, basically, it you can take German units, you can take American units, you can take British units, and make your own fantasy army, 
so to say. Um, some work well with others, some don't. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a fun little. So it's a freemium game, which means you know you've got the the freemium aspect, which is um, yeah you pay for certain things. Like this is a little Tetris style game that they they, they that they do. I played that as well, you know, to give you certain things. But yeah, that's what I do, guys. Um, that's what I got in my spare time. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, and I will see you all today uh, in crikey in literally less than 40 minutes over on twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras so ciao